If you've ever heard of Club Penguin speedrunning, it's likely the speedrun where you try to get banned from the game as quick as possible. That category is known as ban percent. It's been impossible to speedrun the category simply because the original Club Penguin servers have been shut down since 2017. It's still considered to be one of the most popular meme speedruns in history, and even to this day, the speedrun is still talked about along with all the controversy that comes with it. But even after all this time, something new was discovered. This is the story of how one speedrunner was caught cheating and fooled millions of people for nearly 7 years. The objective of the banned percent speedrun was quite simple. You needed to get banned from Club Penguin as fast as possible. The trick to the speedrun had nothing to do with actually getting banned, but it was more so about the preparations before getting banned. The rules of the speedrun were that you had to manually create your penguin from scratch. This meant you also had to create your email from scratch. It was, in a sense, emulating the scenario of using a fresh web browser. The history of the ban percent speedrun is rather elaborate. Many people discovered and utilized different strategies and even skips in the speedrun to lower the time as much as possible. There is a video that goes into great detail about the history of the world records and I would highly recommend watching it if you're interested in that and don't want spoilers for this video. A link is in the description below. But for those who don't care for spoilers, or if you've already watched that video, let's refresh our memory and provide some context for this video. The Band% percent speedrun became extremely popular. This was due to the fact that Disney had announced the imminent shutdown of the Club Penguin servers. Many people wanted to try their hand at the speedrun to try cement a world record that would literally last forever. There were so many people speedrunning the category that the category became hyper-optimized in just 58 hours, and the world record was set 16 different times. The initial world record was 1 minute and 54 seconds. 58 hours later, the world record was just 37.1 seconds. It was a record considered to be unbeatable, but let's put a pin on that for a moment. The second world record was a time of 1 minute and 35 seconds by a runner named Andy. The third world record was a time of 1 minute and 8 seconds by a runner named Camelogical. The 27 second improvement wasn't all that surprising considering that the category was still in its early stages. However, because the speedrun was so popular, speedruns were getting anywhere from tens of thousands of views to several millions of views. People who paid extra close attention noticed something strange about Camelogical's record. During his speedrun, you can see that his computer clock went from 1.26am to 1.27am in 59 seconds, not 60 seconds. It was later determined that his run was spliced, which is a common technique used by cheaters. It's when you cut and paste different videos together to make it seem like it was all done in one run, or removing one or more parts of one video and then editing it back together to make it seem like it was done faster than it actually was. Evidence of this was obvious in Camelogical's run, and it led to his run getting banned in the banned percent category. How poetic. When cheaters are caught, 99% of the time, it leads to the runner getting banned from the community and never being allowed to submit speedruns again. I say 99% of the time because in this case it was the other 1%. Camelogical wasn't banned from the community and he wasn't banned from submitting more Club Penguin speedruns. Why did this happen? When the banned percent speedrun was created, it wasn't taken very seriously. The moderators wanted to focus on the major speedrun categories of Club Penguin which were 500 coins and all missions. With Band% percent exploding in popularity, it would have been a large task for the moderators to keep track of all the people who were cheating. The moderators weren't heavily invested in this at the time. It would have been easy for a cheater to create a new speedrun.com account and submit another run. So if you were caught cheating in Band% percent, your submission would just be disqualified with no further action. Because Camelogical wasn't banned from posting runs, he continued to speedrun ban percent. Camelogical had a PB of 38.9 seconds and was third place behind 2k in Skillos. In his personal best, he made sure to call out all the people commenting that his previous runs were sped up and fraudulent. So he decided to show a webcam feed of his keyboard and mouse so that you could see him doing the run in real time. However, 
he didn't do that for the entire run. The video faded to black, and then the run began. The run where he showed his webcam feed and the run that was displayed immediately afterwards were not the same run, even though he wanted you to believe that it was. It was an interesting thing to put inside your speedrun submission nonetheless. Let's go back to the pin that we set aside earlier in the video. The world record before the Club Penguin servers were shut down was 37.1 seconds by 2k and it was considered to be unbeatable. There was still over a month left before the servers were going to be shut down and no one had been able to break the record. This was partly due to the fact that Disney had changed how email activation worked which negatively impacted speedruns. The record continued to be unbeatable until just 8 hours before the server shutdown. Camelogical posted that he got a new world record with a time of 33.8 seconds, which was 3.5 seconds faster than the once considered unbeatable world record. This sparked outrage on Reddit. A huge thread was made in opposition to Camelogical regarding why the speedrun community thought that Camelogical's run was illegitimate. There were two allegations to support this claim of illegitimacy. The first one was the black box. A black box was edited inside of his run to cover up his Skype and Discord windows. Conveniently, it also covered his system clock. Interestingly enough, when the black box was removed, a minute had passed from 3.39 to 3.40 p.m. Not impossible, but it did raise suspicions. The second allegation was his activation email. His activation email arrived at a strange time. Doing some in-depth video analysis and calculations, Camelogical should have received his email between 3.40.04pm and 3.40.05pm. However, when you take a closer look at the timestamp inside of the email, it arrived at 3.40.12pm. Where did those few extra seconds go? Despite the Reddit thread and all the comments discussing the legitimacy of his run, there wasn't actually any conclusive evidence of Camelogical cheating. Many people were suspicious of the run, especially considering that he had already been caught cheating in one of his previous runs. His world record run was removed from the leaderboards. People wanted Camelogical to provide the raw footage of his run without any editing. And he did. Multiple times in fact. In the raw footage, there was still some slight editing, such as a smaller white box to cover up his Skype and Discord windows, but it didn't cover up the system clock. After his raw footage was uploaded, nothing else was done. There wasn't any official investigation into the raw footage, and he didn't even upload the raw footage as a submission to speedrun.com. The servers shut down, and the once spectacularly popular speedrun left as quickly as it arrived. Despite it not being the official world record on speedrun.com, Camelogical continued to claim his run of 33.8 seconds as the world record. If you search Club Penguin Band Percent Record on YouTube, it's still one of the first results. Every now and then, Club Penguin would become a trending topic on social media. Some content creators would talk about the legendary Band Percent speedrun, but there would be conflicting information. Some content would mention that Camelogical's run was the world record, Others would mention that 2K's time of 37.1 seconds was the world record. Without any conclusive evidence of Camelogical cheating in his 33.8 second run, it made sense why different content creators came to different conclusions, and you can't really blame them for that. But that ends today. Seven years later, someone found something suspicious about Camelogical's alleged world record run. And this time, it wasn't just speculation. It was concrete evidence that Camelogical had cheated, and it had been right in front of us this entire time. Recently, a person by the name of Forget About Me was watching Skillos' video on the history of Club Penguin Band Percent World Records. After watching the video, he thought it was possible that Camelogical's world record was legitimate, as the raw footage had the system clock shown the entire time. He then looked through the comments of the video to see what other people were saying about it. In particular, he noticed that one comment said that the raw footage was 20 seconds longer than the actual run. Forget About Me went to check out the raw footage to verify the comment, but he soon realized that the raw footage included a few failed attempts at the beginning of the video. These made the video longer, likely accounting for those few extra 20 seconds. However, he noticed that the actual run started at 15 seconds into the video. He was about to exit the video, but decided to see when the run actually ended. The run ended at 52 seconds into the video. Well, 52 minus 15 is 37. 
Didn't Camelogical claim to have a world record of 33 seconds? Forget About Me became intrigued and did a rough side-by-side -side comparison of Camelogical's world record run and his raw footage. It all seemed to be above board, up until when Camelogical was logging into the game. Out of nowhere, the world record video suddenly jumped ahead, while the raw footage lagged behind. Forget About Me was completely shocked at what he had found. That feeling only intensified after reading through the comments and seeing that no one else had pointed it out. He quickly went to Camelogical's world record run and also found no comments bringing it up. He went back to Skillaz's history video and again found no comments related to the incident. It was at this very moment where Forget About Me realized he was the only person in the world to have conclusive evidence that Camelogical had cheated. He double checked his findings to make sure that what he was seeing was real and it wasn't a mistake. He went back to Skillos' video and posted a comment about it. Skillos immediately noticed the comment. Oftentimes, comments like these should be taken with a grain of salt. However, since this comment seemed easy enough to verify, Skillos went to manually check it himself and he found that Forget About Me was correct. Skillos responded back to him to discuss the implications of the discovery. So let's take a closer look into Camelogical's run. What did he really do? Well, he used the same cheating technique that he had used in his previous personal best of 38 seconds, splicing. After you log into the game, you're presented with an animation of a penguin shoveling snow while the game was logging you in. That animation loops over and over until you're logged in. In his raw footage, the penguin shovels the snow and the snow splats on the ground nine times. In his world record run, the snow splats on the ground only four times. He spliced the logging in screen animation, making it appear that he logged in faster than he actually did, something that no one had noticed until now. Now you may be asking, what was the actual time of his run in the raw footage? When doing a frame count of the raw footage, the time was 37.167 seconds which is only 4 frames slower than the world record. This is actually rather interesting. The unbeatable world record by 2k is 37.1 seconds, but 7 years ago when it was posted, 2k and everyone else thought the original time was 37.37 seconds. It wasn't until the world record history video from Skillos that 2k's time was readjusted from 37.37 to 37.1 seconds after a frame count. So if we were to go back in time and assume that Camelogical had not spliced or cheated on any other part of his run, it actually would have been the world record by 0.2 seconds. The world record history video from Skillos would have noticed this and we would have a completely different course of events on our hands. But due to Camelogical's willingness to cheat, that's not the case. Camelogical has been officially caught cheating. It does make you wonder if the other allegations, such as the black box and the email timestamp, were intentional red herrings or not. Maybe he knew that he would face suspicions and wanted to use those to prove that he wasn't cheating, hoping that he would keep people from noticing the splice during the login process. But unfortunately, there is no way of knowing whether or not that is true. Regardless, seven years later, all of Camelogical's attempts to cheat have fallen flat on their face. So what exactly happens now? Well, the discovery was brought forward to the Club Penguin moderators. The seven year debate has now come to an end. Camelogical's time of 33 seconds will now never be reinstated on the leaderboard. But what does that mean for his other submissions? Camelogical still has a run on the leaderboard that lands in third place. He's been caught cheating twice before in the past, so does that justify a complete ban on the leaderboards? That question was also brought forward to the moderators after the discovery. Nearly two months later, there was still no decision made. Some moderators leaned towards keeping Camelogical's PB of 38 seconds. It's certainly possible that Camelogical got some legitimate sub 40 second runs and just edited one of them. Other moderators don't seem to be inclined enough to do anything at all. Thus, we discover ourselves entangled in a stalemate. Cheating in speedruns isn't anything new. Whether there is recognition to be had, glory to be won, or even cash bounties to be claimed, there's always a small few who will go outside the rules and ethics to get to the top. There have been many people who have been caught red-handed in the past, but many who likely have not. It makes you wonder who is out there right now, fooling everyone for their own personal gain. But until they slip up, we might never know. 
Until next time, thank you for watching.